Psychology, the fundamental attribution error. Psychology helps us understand the world around us. It's natural for people to try to understand events that they see or experience by looking for the causes of those events. Social psychologists, such as Fritz Heider in 1958, have studied these causal attributions and are the concerns of attribution theory. This is the scientific study of how people assign cause to others' behavior, their own behavior, and other events that occur. We all make causal attributions many times a day, and they can affect our thoughts, feelings, and current or future behavior. Imagine that someone holds the door for you. There are several ways to understand this behavior. If you conclude that the person held the door because the person is nice, kind, or thoughtful, you would be making an internal attribution. Internal attributions are those that assign cause to the disposition of the person, such as beliefs, values, personality traits, and abilities. However, if you conclude that the person held the door for you because he was hoping to get an invitation to your upcoming party, then you would be making an external attribution. External attributions are ones that assign cause to the situation or environment. How do you think you would feel if you believed the person held the door because of their kindness? You might feel happy and would appreciate the person for having done such a kind act. How do you think you would feel if you believed the person held the door because he simply wanted an invitation to your party? You might feel resentment and even be less willing to invite him to your party. Your reaction to this event depends on how you attribute cause to this event. Imagine that you're driving down the freeway with very few cars on the road. You're going the speed limit, just minding your own business. All of a sudden, another driver completely cuts you off, forcing you to slam on your brakes. If you make an internal attribution by concluding that the person is a jerk, inconsiderate, or obnoxious, then it's easy to imagine that you would be angry and might even want to retaliate. However, if you conclude that the person might have been responding to an emergency, then it's easy to imagine that you would be sympathetic, understanding, and even helpful to him on his journey. It is interesting to note that in generating causal attributions, people can often overemphasize the role of the person to explain a behavior or event, that is, overemphasize internal factors and underestimate the role of the situation. Dr. Lee Ross studied this phenomenon in 1977 and called this the fundamental attribution error. Why should we care about this? Remember, the causal attributions that we make can have a profound effect on our current and future thoughts, feelings, and actions. The bottom line, we often do not know why we get cut off on the freeway or the reasons for some of the other events that occur in our lives. So don't be too quick to attribute the event to internal causes and be more willing to consider the situational factors that might be present. The attributions that you make affect you.